Rome's expansion through the military. Battle of Lake Regulus, 496. In the Battle of Lake Regulus, Tarquinius Superbus, the last of the kings, tried to reclaim his throne and was supported by the Latin League. The Romans, though, won this war. And because of this, they established the Cassius Treaty in 493 between Rome and the Latin cities. This made both of them equal independent states and stated that they would both help each other in mutual defense against common enemies. The war with Ve in 396. The Etruscan city of Ve was a large, prosperous, and well-defended city. Livy describes it as the most splendid of Etruscan cities. In 406, Rome besieged Ve. The siege supposedly lasted 10 years until Ve was captured finally in 396. The capture of Ve was a significant for Rome's development in the early Republic. Firstly, the long duration of the war led to the custom of paying citizen soldiers so that they continued to fight. The practice of paying people to fight helped to establish the foundation of a professional citizen military. Secondly, the newly acquired land was shared out among poorer citizens. An increase of men who owned land meant an increase of number of men eligible to fight in the army. This further increased Rome's military power. Also, the increase of number of plebeians who held land gave the class of citizens more social and political power. Thirdly, Rome doubled the size of its territory, expanding northwards into Etruscan territory, and became the largest city in Latium. It also captured Ve without any help from the Latin League. The sack of Rome by the Gauls 390. The Gauls had attacked Etruscan city of Clusium, who wanted Rome's help. The Romans and Gauls fought, 30,000 men to Gaul and 10,000 to Rome. The Romans were crushed. Survivors fled to Ve, and then, in their absence, the city was sacked. And the Gauls occupied the city for seven months, and much of the archival material was lost. Eventually, the Gauls accepted 1,000 pounds of gold for ransom, and finally left. What did the Romans gain from this? Even though the attack was weakened Rome's reputation as they lost, the Romans built the Servian Wall, which was made of large blocks of volcanic rock called Tuffa, which wrapped around the entire city. This defensive posture would help Rome not be captured by enemies until 410 CE. The Second Samnite War From 326 to 304 The Romans had set up a colony at Fregale, which the Samnites considered theirs. This led to open warfare until 321 when the Samnites trapped Rome in a valley called the Claudine Forks, where the Romans surrendered their colony at Fregale and handed 600 hostages. Rome had a disadvantage in this area as it was a mountainous region and they were used to fighting on low terrain. In 316, halfway through the Samnite War, they developed the Manipular Legion, which was different to the Phalanx Legion they used prior. The Manipular Legion was comprised of the Romans fighting in smaller companies rather than in one large block. Each company was called a Manipulus, Handful, or Maniple. The legion was made up of 30 maniples, each numbering between 120 to 160 men. The maniples were arranged in three lines on the battlefield. The Hastati, aka the young spearmen in the front line, the principes, who were more mature soldiers in the middle, and the triari, who were battle-hardened veterans held in reserve. Finally, the Pyrrhic War in 280 to 275. King Pyrrhus of Epirus brought 20 war elephants and 25,000 soldiers and, and fought the Romans in 280 at Heraclea. This was the first time Rome fought a first-class Hellenistic army. Cavalry was defeated as the horses would not go anywhere near the elephants. Even though they were defeated, Pyrrhus tried to capitalize his victory across across Latium, but he failed to persuade the Roman allies to swap sides, as the Roman alliance systems proved to be too loyal and strong.